This is my doggy, but you want him. Do you want him? Do you want him? Okay, sit down and I'll give him to you. Ready, steady, go, go get him. <laughs> now give him back to me. Give him back, give him back, give him back, give him back. No, no you don't want to, no you don't want to. Are your paw prints all over the Rob's nice carpet? Yeah, are your paw prints everywhere? Yeah, no. In case you're wondering what my natural hair looks like without any keratin any straightening any blow drying this is it what a disaster i mean it's been a while like normally i'll kind of blow dry it but last night i literally just left it to do its own thing honestly i just received something and i'm totally totally skeptical of it it's the new ghd glide it's like a hot brush ah oh, guys i've tried a fair few hot brushes in my time and I literally gave up after one go because I was like that is not happening so I'm interested to try this because I love GHD but honestly on my curly hair like is this gonna work I don't know it comes a little like this and let's have a look inside there's been so much hype around this product Ooh. crap I was sent it but in no way does that alter my opinion i will slate it if it needs slating <laughs> i am very grateful to be sent things that i'm able to review and then give you an honest opinion whether it's worth spending money on it and whether i would spend my money on it let's just untangle these things not gonna lie guys i'm feeling a little bit down today and hopefully my mood will pick up once i discover an amazing head product <laughs> You know when, well, maybe you don't know when, but I just feel a bit deflated at the moment. Let's call it deflated. Right. Oh my god, my hair is total disaster. Let me get a clip. Clip half this up. I'm just gonna take this first section and glide. Oh, it's stuck in a knot. Oh, okay. Let's redo that one a bit. Did that work? Oh, it kind of worked. Oh my gosh, it, it actually, did it work? It did, oh my god it did. Okay, let's try another section. Now I wonder if you have to brush slower. It did work, not amazing, hold on. Hmm, I don't know, let's see. Maybe I need to brush slowly and more. Basically my hair gets really knotty, so it keeps stopping on the knots. But I wonder if I just brush through normally, if it actually works. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. That actually works. Now, my main problem with these brushes is that a tiny bit of humidity or a bit of movement, the day goes by basically and then all of a sudden my hair's back to normal, which doesn't happen when I do it with straighteners. But sometimes I feel like these brushes don't apply enough like heat that actually gets rid of the kinks in my hair so i'm gonna have a look throughout the day today but that has actually worked which is pretty pretty good amazing okay i'm just gonna actually use this next section and just brush like i normally would brush like i would actually brush my hair and see what happens and not like use it as an entirely different section i think i need to actually be quite careful about the sections because if you just brush your hair like you normally would brush your hair i don't really think it works okay there we go that's better i need actually to go on both sides of the hair to actually get rid of the curl i'm not sure if this takes less time or more time than straightening i feel like i would be probably around the same pace as my straightener but you know what this would be good for i think you know sometimes when your hair gets rained on and then you just want to kind of go over it but without re-straightening the entire thing i think this is when this would be really good and i'm actually gonna brush this section first because it's so knotty Ooh, there we go so it is saturday today and i'm having a really nice slow morning it's quite sunny outside so maybe i'll take duke for a nice walk Maybe get an acai bowl. Rob is doing something with my dad. And it's like a really nice, peaceful, slow morning. I love slow mornings. It's like 10.30 right now. I have no particular reason feeling deflated today. I just think everything from the past month has like just 
not caught up with me but it just is a lot to take in and it's a lot of like energy draining things that have been happening so that is just how I feel today but that's okay I'm owning my feelings and allowing myself to feel deflated and then moving on later the other thing I want to mention about this is that now the way my hair is cut I like pulling in my ends like that when I use the straighteners like I kind of curl them around I don't like my whole hair looking dead straight so I'm not really sure like if I would actually use this by itself because I quite like swooping in my ends like as if they've been in rollers that's what I like doing with my straighteners but this actually is working and I think if I was like if I didn't have a mirror this would be amazing because I could just brush my hair but there are I can see a few like kinks at the back of my head which I would be able to get with a straightener but I can't get them here with this but you know what actually this has made my hair feel so nice like you know sometimes the straightener makes your hair feel a bit like stiff sometimes whereas when you blow dry your hair your hair feels more swooshy this actually makes my hair feel like more swooshy than straightened if that makes sense which I like that feeling of and I think it gives it better volume that's the other thing actually i would say that the volume in my hair hasn't gone down when i've used this but this side for me is always the harder side to do i don't really know why i think because there's like more hair on this side because of my parting now this morning i have just been working on my newsletter in bed for next week i recently started out oh my gosh i took out my earrings in the night they were bugging me and my, I always keep my jewellery on when I sleep but last night they were bugging me and I just realised I have earrings in one ear and not the other ear I need to put them back on what was I saying? oh yeah my newsletter I've started a newsletter on my blog if you want to go and sign up to it this is twice a month by the way that I do a Q&A bargain of the week where I find like an amazing dupe and I'm treating it more like a diary and I just kind of like write what's been going on and what I'm up to at the moment and then you can catch up on everything across all my platforms on there also you know what this is actually an amazing tool because it actually does work so far my two things are you need to do it from the top and bottom of the hair to actually get rid of any proper kinks if you have like kinky hair like me <laughs> kinky hair and the other thing is I will be looking forward actually to going on my walk with Duke and seeing if any of my curls kind of like reappear after I've been outside and walking around for a while and stuff because just to see if the straightness of my hair actually holds as the same way that the straightener does. Now this is the bit where I like using a blow dryer normally because I have these like weird bits at the front but actually that looks quite nice but I normally like curl a bit the bits at the front. Okay let's have a look and inspect. Okay, now I wouldn't actually use this at the moment at the front of my hair purely because nothing to do with the GHG Glide but I had a really, really bad haircut as you can see and it's just really choppy and I didn't go to Larry who I normally go to and I just really don't like my haircut but I don't want it to be any shorter so I'm kind of waiting for it to grow out and when it's curly you don't really notice how like choppy it is at the front and I can't even look at it because it pisses me off so much so I might just straighten a bit the bits at the front just to kind of curl them around with a straightener and then leave the rest of my hair and see how that goes today but first and foremost it is time for a snack Before I start my makeup, I'm I'm a totally um, 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 <laughs> I am um, um. <laughs> that was I am um totally obsessed with this new Elemis superfood kefir tea mist. Now, what is so exciting about a mist? I hear you say. You know, sometimes things just come out of your mouth, and you're just like, sound like my mother. <laughs> Basically, I've never felt this way about a mist before. Is all you need to know. However, this is as they describe it as a priming mist. It's so hydrating. The mist actual nozzle, which is where I have a lot of problems with mists, is is a mist. It's not a squirter. 
it's not a dribbler it's not a, like sometimes you get loads sometimes you don't get anything kind of mist it is an evenly spread out nicely fine spray mist and it smells so Good. it just feels amazing when you spray it on your skin like you might notice i sprayed a couple more sprays than one would normally spray of a mist but it's just i can't help it it smells so good i'm also loving the superfood day cream i've really been on the hunt for a new day cream and my skin has been loving this so i need to do a bit of makeup today to pep up my skin the other thing we're doing today is we are going out out on a Saturday night oh my gosh that hasn't happened I mean not even out out but like going leaving the house on a Saturday night has not happened for a while so <laughs> we're going out out people and then the place we're going to for dinner which is called the arts club turns into a club afterwards I'm almost finished I'm like squeezing the packaging of this like oh Oh, oh, trying to get more product out because this foundation is so easy to use and so gorgeous yeah we're going out with Liv and her fiance they are getting married in June and I'm one of her bridesmaids so I actually have a bridesmaid fitting on Tuesday for one of the bridesmaid dresses one of I mean the bridesmaid dress <laughs> So I'm really excited because I've never been like an adult bridesmaid before. I've been a bridesmaid when I was younger for my aunts and things, but actually never been like an adult bridesmaid. So that's like mega exciting. Everyone keeps saying they prefer me wearing less makeup. So I'm very flattered, but I love makeup. I've actually never used this palette before. Transformize Bigger Brighter Eyes filter from charlotte tilbury it looks like this it's gorgeous it's super beautiful i'm just going to use the prime shade first actually and just do something kind of really quite basic on my eyes i desperately need to get my eyebrows how many times have you heard me say that across my youtube life probably too many tomorrow we are going on a little country getaway we're going to soho farmhouse and rob's never been before i went a couple of years ago when it first opened with elizabeth arden and only thing with soho farmhouse is there isn't that much like it's not like country do you know what i mean like as someone that grew up in the countryside soho farmhouse is like when londoners want to feel like they go to the country that's how i kind of feel like it is but as we're not doing any walking because rob can't walk <laughs> and we're mainly going to be on the actual like um hotel thing and in our cabin and stuff then i thought that would be a really nice place to go to because the food is good there's a really nice atmosphere i'm using this benefit roller lash eyeliner which you might have seen in my unboxing friday and it's actually brown so i thought it'd be really nice to use i really need some bronzer look at me i'm like paling into everything my plan for this weekend is to literally just be i'm not going to take my phone that's a lie. I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to turn off my phone. I'm not going to take my laptop. It's not even a weekend. It's just a night. <laughs> I have booked lunch in the main restaurant and then dinner. I think they have like an Asian fusion restaurant also, which I booked cow shed massages for Rob and I. I'm going to also try something that I got in my unboxing Friday. This is an Urban Decay Brow Endowed and it has this tiny little spoolie. It's like super super small but i'm not sure if these kind of small spoolies actually work with my super thick like heavy eyebrows to actually comb them this one seems to be doing okay that's pretty good actually you can see this one all the brow hairs go everywhere so let's see okay you know what it actually worked normally the spoolie just kind of bends <laughs> when they're this thin i have to tell you guys Becca bought out these lipsticks recently and they are delicious. Like they are what creamy, balmy, pigmented lipsticks should always be. They're beautiful. They have a little shine to them also. This is the shade Truffle. There are so many nudes as well in the range, which is amazing. They feel so good on the lips. There we go, I'm done. Dark Talk. Okay, Chris. <laughs> Just in Hyde Park now. Come Duke, stop here in the grass. <laughs> and it's such a nice day. Like 
It's such a beautiful day. It's the middle of winter. There's nothing on the trees. But the sun is like, oh, it just feels so nice. It feels so good. I'm listening to Alex and Mimi's podcast that they just started. I saw on her Instagram stories that they put up an episode called How to Create a Positive Mindset in Life. And I was like, okay, I need that today because I'm being a bit of a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just moving my hands. And ooh, something is going down over here. There's a lot of police cars going on. Ooh, what is happening there? I'm already... 20 minutes in it's I only have another 45 minutes so I'm not even halfway through and I already feel like uplifted Alex basically started off by I'll let you listen to the episode I'll put it down below what Alex basically says in the beginning of the podcast is so many external things can happen in your life and it's up to you to choose whether what kind of outlook you want to have on your life still so windy being blown away yeah, hearing that is just so empowering because it basically makes you feel so much more in control even though things that are happening might be totally out of your control it just makes you feel like the only thing you can kind of ensure is your mindset and how you react to things that happen almost an hour but 142 calories that's like not even a chocolate bar ready to leave to go out for the first time in a long time tonight i just put on a bit of ysl the slim lipstick and doing my last bits of my surge du tarte this is like a giant bottle i think i bought it in france and i'm almost out of it which is so sad it's like one of my favorite fragrances this Giorgio Armani c and Oh, I don't know. I can't decide. Oh, Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc. Those are probably my like three faves. I have so many faves. I love fragrance. Anyway, <laughs> ramble about fragrance. Um, yeah, we're going out for dinner tonight, and just a little early birthday celebration for Liv. And um, we're actually going to the arts club, and I've never eaten in the club downstairs. We're actually having dinner in the club. It's gonna be a late dinner, at, like nine or something. That's quite late for me. So I've had a lot of snacks in preparation <laughs> to get me through to 9 p.m. While I'm in the bathroom and I have a proper mirror, I could show you my outfit of the night with my dress. Right, let me put my bag down. That's my bag, by the way. Just my little Chanel. So this is my dress. It's a one from Revolve. It's called Ronnie Kobo. And it has these kind of little like puff sleeves inside, but I love the detail of it. And it has this nice like high round neck as well. I just think it's really beautiful and it's kind of ruched at the side too. And then just my usual the wild night out has been too exciting for Rob. He's taken off his cast and his grace, so it's not okay. He's still sitting down there. We lasted until 12.18. Woo! Woo! I'm actually surprised we lasted so long out considering it was a good night. We haven't. That was actually so fun. It was I've such never fun. eaten down there and there's like a live woman singing. I am really. now I'm surprised very you're... ready for bed. For bed. Are you in pain or did you manage? No, I'm actually fine. Good? Yeah, it's good. With the cast and the leg? Oh yeah. The I'm double now, whammy. I'm now just running around. It's great. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, I better run. You always say that, actually. I say I better run. You go, I better run, and, and then people again, say you're not running. You're not running anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shame. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, how funny. I was in like a really weird mood when I woke up this morning, and now I'm good. It's well, amazing yeah. what a walk can do. A I went on a walk, and then I felt like literally everything. like a different person. Clears the yeah. mind. That's why I like the soul. Wow, you're getting so deep. That's why I like having Duke around. Yeah. It's like an excuse to go for a walk. Not an excuse, but like, it then becomes like a necessity to go for a walk. My love, Duke. Yeah. What? Oh. Can I say what happened today on the bed? Sure. It was so funny. 
We're sitting, the bed and Duke's like sitting on me, like on my chest. So when Rob looks at me, I wasn't sure if he was looking at me or Duke and he goes, I love you. I was like, I love you too. And then he like has this weird face and he was like, I was like, oh my God, you were saying that to Duke, not me. <laughs> Replaced by the dog, Duke's everyone's favorite. Yeah. I just got back and it was raining a bit outside. So I have to say actually, this, the GHD Glide is actually pretty good. Like considering I went on a walk today, it's been the whole day and I've been walking in the rain. My hair would normally, if I had like, if I didn't blow dry it properly and didn't straighten it, would be totally frizzy and kinky and horrible. It's really good. Actually, my only problem is that I don't love my hair dead straight, so I had to add in a couple of little waves at the bottom just to kind of blend in my layers a bit. So that's the only reason why I still need to get out my strainer to do that. But if I was just gonna like quickly go over my hair, then I would definitely use the glide. I think it's sold out everywhere to be honest, but if I can find a link to it, I'll put it down below. If not, you're probably better off getting it in store, but I would really say you need it. Like if you have straighteners, I wouldn't say that you need it, but if you like your hair straight, then I would say definitely check it out. Now, please excuse me if I am late to the bandwagon on this. I'm just actually putting you in the bathroom of a cupboard while I take off my makeup. Where's my Garnier? Here it is. My love. Oh. So good this stuff the micellar milky cleansing water but maybe some people will kill me for this but hopefully if anyone else was late to the bandwagon as well then i can educate you also i have recently made the switch between normal cotton pads well hopefully we can make these ones normal but between cotton pads like cotton cotton <laughs> and reusable cotton pads which are much better for the environment and also way more practical and much more cost efficient and just generally have a lot more benefits they're also nice and big which means i can take off a lot more makeup this is what i do at night by the way i either stand in the shower or i sit on the floor and sometimes i just love being on the floor oh my gosh look at you Duke, do you want to hang out with Rob? Are you waiting for someone to open the door so you can see Rob? He's so funny. He's so funny. You're such a funny puppy. I love you. Anyway, I have made the switch and I really don't regret it. It's great. It's really amazing. It's also quite easy to wash them. I literally just soak them in the water, squeeze out the makeup, and then maybe in like a couple of days. Oh, by the way, I also use both sides, and then I can put them in the washing machine and actually wash them, wash them. And while I take off my makeup, I mean, just mm, so good and so easy. Put on a lot of waterproof mascara, so it is being a little bit difficult. Not last night, but the night before last, I had a meetup with Elemis, and it was more, I don't know why I say meetup, I feel like meetup means like something totally different to event, but let's say event actually, because it really was more like an event. It was to launch their new superfood products. So I will rewind now. Tonight is the night of my Elemis event. Wearing a lot of highlight tonight for my Elemis event. And a handbag full of lipsticks and snacks. <laughs> That's literally it because it's around 6 p.m. and I know there's snacks at the event, but I feel like I'll be speaking to people and I won't want to eat, so I should eat something before, like a little snack. Even though there were 40 tickets for sale and they all sold out like so fast, I'm still scared no one's gonna come. Like I still get this feeling at events and meetups and stuff but like i'm like is anyone coming is anyone gonna be there i went and raided my sister's earrings and i have three new ones on my ears can you see these how beautiful is that one i'll try and find out where they're from and link them down below okay i'm just walking into the elements store but i'm not actually wearing my contacts so i'm like trying to find it but also half blind. Turns out I passed it. <laughs> I should have worn my contacts. 
insane. What oh made my it. gosh, this is it. so cool. This is the whole outside. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> we'll be stealing one of those. Thank you very much. Everyone having facials gets them in here. How exciting. And these are all. Oh my god, this is amazing this is my favorite mist i think this has gone actually i know this has gone to the top of my mist list <laughs> mist list list of mists and we have the superfood berry boost mask this is actually a really great product the black currant jelly exfoliator it's really cool and the vital veggie mask also so this is the downstairs of the venue which is fully kitted out in absolutely everything including this little station here which is the kefir tea mist and then it has little quotes like all around the room with why i love the products so let me find another quote hold on the berry boost mask quote over here this is the mask oh my gosh this is so clever Oh my gosh! Is that an avocado? That's so cute. Then what else do we have around here? Oh, a photo booth. Should we do it? Let's do it! Eyes are closed. Literally all three except that one. That one's cute. Okay, who could sing that the best? Probably Liv. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Oh, sweets! Oh, wow! Oh, I didn't see those. Oh, how cool! And look, the masks are actually in the jelly up there. I can't believe this is actually happening and you're all here. This is amazing. This is so exciting. I just walked in and instantly felt so overwhelmed. Like, they've literally thought of absolutely everything and you haven't even seen downstairs. Oh my gosh, I got to meet so many amazing people tonight, including Angel, who made Rob and I the most gorgeous picture ever. I don't want to take it out of the bubble wrap, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a drawing of us on the ice rink when we were in St. Moritz, and I literally almost cried when she gave it to me. I was so overwhelmed. It was such a gorgeous and thoughtful gift. She's just so talented it was amazing it was just like so so sweet and then i got to meet someone called isabel who i literally have seen her comments and i recognize her username as soon as she said it's isabel i was like wait are you isabel like the isabel whose username i've recognized for like five years and it was her because she lived in amsterdam but now she's in london for like three months and it coincided with this and Oh, it was just amazing. And I bagged myself an Elemis goodie bag with the products inside, but also with some Livia's kitchen nuggets, which is gonna be my dinner. <laughs> I'll you. Now that I'm home, I just wanted to show you this in full beauty. I mean, Angel, thank you so much because this is something I'm gonna treasure forever. It's so gorgeous. Like, look at all of this around here. Like every little detail is thought out even look like look how similar it is to the actual picture it's my background and it's just like so sweet that someone would spend the time doing this for me to enjoy like i just am so overwhelmed and so grateful it's beautiful Good morning everyone i literally oh my god this bus is so close i literally had the world's best sunday morning today sorry i just stopped driving when there's a bus next to me i absolutely hate buses they're just so big i had the best sunday morning today and i did i kind of got inspired by alex and mimi's podcast yesterday where they talked about power hour like your first hour in the morning i didn't look at my phone i looked at the kitchen like oven to look at the time i did some stretches i don't even know what stretches i was doing but i was just kind of like being at one with myself and not just like waking up going on my phone looking at instagram i feel like i've got into such a bad routine recently with that and it was really nice it was so zen i feel like because it's sunday that's much more realistic for me to do wow someone's getting angry with the horn but i feel like in the week would i be able to do that every day for an hour probably not like who can just relax in the morning every day for an hour but 
I mean, maybe I can if I walk deep. I don't know. Anything's possible. But for today, that was amazing. That was like, I feel like this weekend was like a nice reboot, get me out of my rut kind of a thing. Feeling like much more energized and inspired now. It's amazing what not looking at your phone in the morning can do. Like, I was so zen. I had a tea. I was like, normally I'm like having a tea slash WhatsApping. Or like, it was just like, I didn't know, almost like didn't know what to do with myself. Like my screen time is beyond, it's just way too high. Although it did say to me this week, actually, my screen time was down 78% from last week. But I think that's just because I wasn't in the hospital, like scrolling all the time. I was like out and about this week. So <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm dropping Duke at my mum's now because we are going to Soho Farmhouse today, which I'm so excited about, but I think he'll be better walked and taken care of. I won't be able to walk him that much when I'm in Soho Farmhouse. And I'm gonna sign off the vlog here. Uh, if you don't wanna miss my uploads, I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. So you can click the subscribe button and be notified. Mwah. Bye guys. Do you wanna say bye? Bye everybody. Bye, little cute squirrel. You're so cute. Oh, oh.